Welcome to the first broadcast of the University of Pikeville's Bear TV on Pike TV. I'm Chase Ellis. And I'm Olivia Kinney. We will also hear from Rebecca Ratliff with your campus update, Jaleesa Jones with sports, and our future star Jake Cyrus with his segment, Jake on the Bridge. But our first story has meaning for past, present, and future University of Pikeville students. You, Pike, and the city of Pikeville have reached an agreement for the college to reacquire the original academy building. With more on this story, here's Trevor Setti. The ever-growing University of Pikeville campus is growing even more with the academy building in downtown Pikeville, also known as the City Hall. The academy at campus expansion will further the progress of current and future business students. The business classes will be working with local businesses as a service to grow and get advice and pursue new entrepreneurial advances. Well, when I talked to Governor Patton the other day and he told me about this transaction and how it was going to flow, and I told the governor, I said, I can understand why your board would want, would want that building back, because that was the beginning. It's, it's history, and, and then once that happens, it's a domino effect that happens. And, and that's the reason that Pike, Pikeville and Pike County is the most progressive county in central Appalachia. And what's happened, it seems everybody's going to be uh, changing spaces and buildings and moving things around. And in the shuffle, uh, the chamber's been afforded the opportunity to move into a much larger building, better access. And for our chamber, you know, we've grown regionally. We've grown membership by 125 members. And with that, we've needed increased staffing for the, uh, about the last two years. And in our current building, we were, we were maxed out on office space. Uh, this whole process started with the university approaching the city with some opportunities. And uh, I met with uh, President-elect uh, James Hurley, and we looked at a couple of buildings downtown Pikeville for the university to grow into. One of the things that we recognized off the bat is for the city to continue to grow and the region to continue to grow, we need to invest in education. And, of course, with the university's growth and all their expanded programs, uh, the commission wanted to make sure that we were fully endorsing uh, what the objective of the university is, because the city has become a university town. When you look at our businesses downtown, a lot of the trade um, from people going to whether it's restaurants or, or uh, uh, attending expo center events or those things that create demands on service, a lot of that's being driven right now by a couple of entities, one the university and the second the hospital. So uh, well, if you look at City Hall currently, uh, where, where it's at. I mean, it's a wonderful, magnificent historical venue, but it was originally uh, constructed as a college. So having that university go back to its original roots, the problem with the building right now, City Hall, is is that, <clears throat> one, it's a historical uh, building and it's under so many restrictions and covenants that it's set up for classroom settings. So w as the city has grown, we could not adapt by putting up new walls because we couldn't hurt the integrity of the existing building. But it is set up for classroom settings, which is what the university does. Uh, the institution having once again that building to use it's a great way to honor our tradition that that is our heritage where the institution began but it's also an exciting opportunity that that become an educational facility and for us specifically for business so we're currently planning how we can best use the space there it's a great opportunity for us to also broaden the mission of the business program. Thanks, Trevor. It is truly an exciting time to be a student at UPike, especially for the students joining the new College of Business. You may have noticed the new addition to the Pikeville skyline, the coal building. Thomas Grajeda now joins us with some information about and a quick tour of the new home of the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine. Thomas Grady here reporting from the Coal Building. Chris, can you tell us how your experience has been here so far with the new building? Um, it, it's, it's an awesome experience because we have uh, a lot of technology that we didn't have in the old building. We have uh, smart boards in the rooms, uh, especially in, in the micro lab uh, community building or room that we use. And uh, the OPP lab especially, there's a um, there's 80 tables that are completely motorized, whereas in the whole building, right. we had wooden tables that were made out of two by fours. And uh, so, you know, any adjustment, the shorter people had the short tables, right. the taller people got the tall tables. So it's just, you know, it's exciting for us because if we put out the quality of doctors that we did with the old technology, right. you know, what are we going to do now in four years? Right. It shows uh, not only the growth of the university, the growth of our city, right. and the growth of our industry. Right. Uh, if we can put a building like this in eastern rural Kentucky, um, that shows what the osteopathic profession can do to a, you know, to a smaller university like Pikeville itself. 
Were you surprised how fast it was built? I mean, it was probably less than, what, a year and a half, I'm saying, a year? Yeah, when I came up for my interview, they, they just started the framework, and so when I came up, I saw this, you know, uh, the structure being built for this, and I was like, there goes my big one day, but I didn't realize that that was going to be the school that I was right. going to be in. And then once I got here, they said, you know, you won't be in it, don't worry. Okay. And then it just made it blossom. So. Thomas Grajeda, reporting from the Cole Building, Bear TV News. Kaikom students hold a free clinic every Monday and Friday at 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the fourth floor of the Cole Building. This free clinic is open to the public and the University of Pikeville students. Now that we've covered two new additions to the U Pike campus, Let's switch gears a little and talk about a group who will be leaving campus for a study abroad opportunity in China. Astrid Valiente will share with us Dr. Sandy Crow and a brand new study abroad program here at UPike. UPike study abroad opportunity are expanding. This year there is exciting new opportunity. I'm Dr. Sandy Crow and I'm the Director of Global Education here at uh, University of Pikeville and my job is to help international students uh, in anything that they need here on the university, help, our Amer help all of our students to go study abroad, and then also to um, help the university internationalize and make relationships with other universities in the, uh, overseas. University of Pikeville has um, designed their own study abroad opportunity to China. And uh, the students will be going for four weeks and they will study uh, in Beijing. Um, at the end they will study, they will go to Xi'an, which is where the terracotta warriors are. And um, Dr. Steve Budney is teaching the course and it's called Imperial China. And they'll be able to, um, they're living on the campus of Beijing University of Agriculture. And um, they will be able to learn Chinese calligraphy, Chinese language, obviously experience history, those kinds of things. I'm Astrid Valiente with BIRD TV. Rebecca Ratliff joins us now to give us a campus update to let everyone know what is going on around the UPike campus. As this semester begins to get into full swing, many activities are starting up again and looking for some new faces. With new activities and events happening all the time, make sure to check your school email for campus updates and new events. Need something to do on Mondays? Yoga classes will meet on Mondays from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. in Booth Auditorium. You can hang around afterwards for BUG, a non-denominational campus ministry that meets Mondays and Thursday nights at 8.30 p.m. in Chapel. Wednesdays can be one of the most boring days of the week, so come join your fellow students for a free ride to Walmart. You can catch a ride in Condent parking lot at 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. every Wednesday. You don't have to make any reservations for a seat, just come and show up. Wednesdays also provide students with a place to come and meet new friends. Join your fellow students for What's Up Wednesdays in the Student Lounge starting at 8.30 p.m. It's a time to come and talk about what's important to you and most importantly, to get a free home cooked meal. Athletes, need something to do between classes? Come join your fellow athletes every Thursday at 11 a.m. in Chapel for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. There are also some important dates that will be here before you know it. Spring break is March 18th through the 22nd, so enjoy your spring break. There are also no classes on March 29th for Good Friday. No matter if you're graduating or just looking for something to do during school and this summer, here are some job listings that might be perfect for you. Hey graduates, it's never too early to start thinking about what happens after you get that diploma. Community Trust Bank is looking for management trainees. As always, if you are looking or interested in any of these positions, please contact Britta Gibson at the college at 218-5226 or stop by Student Services to fill out a job seeker form. You can do a little and help out the Division of Math and Science. They need aluminum pop tabs for their Science and Math Day Camp. Lambda Signa is collecting Campbell's soup labels and box tops for education. And that's what's going on at UPAC. 
Now that Rebecca has let us know what is happening academically and socially, Jaleesa Jones will fill us in on how our U-Pike athletic teams are faring this season. Take nine. Ranking as high as the top four, the Bears have now dropped to 17th in the NAIA Division I Men's Basketball Coaches Poll. With a record of 19... Year three of the Dudley Hilton era and University of Pikeville football kicked off with the National Signing Day on Wednesday, February 6th. After back-to-back -back 500 seasons, Dudley Hilton has amped up his recruiting and bringing in multiple Division I signees. The football program celebrated 21 mid-year signees and 66 total signees for the 2013 fall season. It's a good looking crowd. Uh, we've never done this before. This is something new for us. It's special. National Signing Day and it's a, it's a very big step in these young men's lives and, and I appreciate you uh, choosing you, Pike and being here. This is starting my third year here at the University of Pikeville. I came here as a college. Now we're at university and now we're having signing day. Uh, sky's the limit. And uh, we, we're very proud of the support that the administration gives us here and to run a first-class program. And I feel like to have a, any program you're going to run, if you're going to do it, let's do it first class. A game of Warriors, played with courage and heart, and luckily introduced to this great university, lacrosse is bitter anticipation and excitement amongst not only the new coach, but players as well. The Lady Bears lacrosse team takes the field March 12th, so everyone be prepared to see a battle. I have is what are your plans exactly for this lacrosse program? Um, just to build it to you know the best of my ability and, and and the best these girls can give it. It's brand new and and you know they have the reins as to where they want this program to go and and like I said before you know they're willing to work hard and I'm willing to work hard and we really want this program to be successful and to make a name for you Pike Lacrosse. With this season coming up so quickly, how do you feel about it? I'm ready. I'm ready to get out there and go play. I'm excited, but. I just want more or less us to grow as a team because we're a first-year team. I want us to bond. I want us to become a team as a whole so that we all come back next year and just keep growing and make the program a better program a year in and year out. The athletics here at U-Pike are on the rise, and it's an exciting time for our student-athletes. Remember to come out and support the spring sports as the teams continue their strive for greatness. Now it's that time of the show to brush away all seriousness. It's the time for a special, Jake on the Bridge, the student's chance to have a voice on the Bear TV. Jake Cyrus now brings us a student's point of view and has some tricky trivia for some of our lucky U-Pike students. You've been going here to U-Pike for a couple years. How do you like it here? Oh, it's delightful here. It's a beautiful campus. The people are wonderful. The teachers are very helpful. It's a great place. I love it. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better campus, uh, better campus life, and of course my best friend Jake. We're not friends. What is the United States' largest state? But, um, uh, Texas? California. Florida? Texas? You're an idiot. California. Cali, I guess. California. Alaska. Alaska. I'll tell you. Take it back. No, it, no take backsies. No, he <laughs> said California. You guys heard it. You gotta be Texas, California, or Florida. Well, uh, Alaska. That is Alaska. That's correct. Yeah, he's from Canada, so you know, it's, it's a little tough for him. The geography of the U.S. A little tough. Still, still learning a little bit. Still learning. Thanks, Jake. And Jake will be filming again soon, so when you see the shaggy blonde guy on the bridge with the camera, give us a few sound bites for Bear TV. Thank you for joining our first broadcast here at Bear TV. I'm Chase Ellis. And for Rebecca Ratliff, Jaleesa Jones, and all of our camera crew here at Bear TV, I'm Olivia Kinney. Thank you for joining us.